What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Torterra in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, please put it in the comment section below. And if you enjoy the videos, if they help you out, you know, get some good ideas, drop a like and let's get into it. So Torterra is a new Pokemon we're able to use now in Scarlet and Violet. And it gets a quite a major move here. So I'll be focusing this first move set on it. And that move is Shell Smash. So what a great boosting move for a Pokemon like Torterra. So Torterra's best stats here are its attack and its defense. And it's not a bad health stat as well. So it used to be pretty good at being a defensive wall or maybe a choice bandit set. But now with Shell Smash, it's opened it up to a, quite a few uh, different options. And with, of course, with Terra and stuff like that. So um, obviously Shell Smash, great boosting move here. And we've got Headlong Rush as a move that it gets too. Now, I just wanted to put this on there. Um, funnily enough, Headlong Rush is actually a, a, a punching. So it falls under the punching move and it actually gets a boost from Punching Glove, which is, which is pretty funny. So I thought that could be a fun item if you really want raw, raw power out of there. But a bit more of an uh, item would be a bit safer would be White Herb. And that would uh, effectively have your uh, stat drops from Shell Smash for a move. So that would be a lot handier, say, you've Shell Smash, you've taken that Pokemon out, then you don't have you know such low defenses. But I just thought I'd mention that if you want to have some like brute force on your headlong rush. Now, the next move I've got in there is Seed Bomb. Now, you can opt for Seed Bomb or you've got um, like Bullet Seed or you've got Wood Hammer. Uh, Wood Hammer is... A lot more powerful, but it, it, the longevity isn't so good, especially when you're very going to take some damage while you set Shell Smash up at worst case scenario. So we're going to go with Seed Bomb here. It's still 80 base power. It's respectable. It's 100% accuracy. And yeah, it's it's pretty solid. Now, the Terra I would go for here, in my opinion, I believe that Rock is the best Terra for it because it gives it some good resistance and it actually gives it some good coverage as well. So you are very weak to Ice, four times weak to Ice, and any fire Pokemon as well, flying Pokemon, I believe Terra type Rock is the superior Terra for it. And also with Terra Blast, well, you can have a 100% accuracy Rock move. Now, it does get a couple of other Rock moves, that's for sure. Um, that, you know, like Rock Slide and Stone Edge. I like Terra Blast because 80 base power, you've got that Terra, um, Terra on there too. And it's not going to miss, right? The worst thing you do is when you use Shell Smash and you miss a move. Um, that really, really irks me, right? So we've got 100% accuracy on all those moves. Now, as for the abilities it gets, of course, we've got Overgrow and Shell Armor. Shell Armor is quite a good move there. It's going to prevent any critical hits. So, you know, you're trying to sweep through the team. You don't want to get critted by a uh, any type of move there. Now, the EVs are pretty straightforward. I've given this one Max Attack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. Uh, this is going to be very, very fast if you want to run Jolly. Um, you can bring it back uh, to Adamant. I probably would do that instead of Jolly because it gives you more base power. And I feel like with Jolly, you're wasting uh, you're wasting your EVs, right? Not many. Like, there's very, very few Pokemon that are going to be out speed after a single Shell Smash. It'd have to be like, uh, like a Choice Scarf Dragapult or something like that. Speaking of Dragapult, with Adamant Nature, I believe it outspeeds it by one point, like, say, a Timid or Jolly Dragapult, which is just a cool sort of uh, stat to, uh, uh, that would be interesting there. Um, anyway, so we've got uh, Adamant there, and, yeah, so you can go Adamant, that's going to give you a lot of attack. So that's going to, that's going to be a pretty scary Pokemon for sure, and give you uh, a lot of, uh, you've got a lot of uh, good moves here, good, uh, like, coverage moves, and with the Terra, you can cover some of your weaknesses too. So a very, very solid set. Um, if you don't want to one like white herb on there i mean it, it's quite a good I, I really like it as an item if you're really truly worried about being maybe burned you could run lumberry on there um i had that punching glove as a bit of a laugh too um it's it's funny that headlong rush is actually a a, a punching move it's, it's kind of it's kind of strange but it is it actually is a punching move so yeah um so that would be my items life i mean you could go life or but i i wouldn't you don't really need any more base power you're already going to be you're probably already going to be, you know, sweeping most things anyway. So, um, another one you could really run if you wanted to would be y Yaki Berry. If you were scared about ice moves and you didn't terror right away, you could possibly do that. But that would probably mean you'd, 
Uh, you wouldn't go Terra Rock. You'd probably have to go something different. Some other options for Terra anyway, why, why we're talking about that. Let's just assume White Herb is probably going to be the best item on it for a Shell Smash set. Uh, you could always go Terra Ground to increase the power of Headlong Rush. I mean, it's already 120 base. It's going to be very, very powerful. And we've got uh, Terra Grass as well. So Terra Grass... So some more uh, base power there too. So that would be my suggestion for a White Herb set. Obviously, this is going to work best in singles. Now, you could try it in doubles, but I'd mix the moves around. I've actually got a uh, uh, some doubles or VGC style set, uh, set coming up then. There's some discussion there. So, yeah, they'll be coming up. So, yeah, that's uh, that's really... It's, it has a really, really good move now. And it's very fast because, like, in the past, you used to have to rely on... Um, I don't even have to guess this anymore. Does it even get rock polish anymore? Um, rock polish. No, he doesn't even get rock polish. So in the past, to make it like quick, you had to use rock polish. It's really neat that it got shell smash. So give that one a go for sure. Um, let's have a look at the next set. So this is more of a bulky set. So this is a curse and body press uh, bulky boosting set. So this one is max health, max special defense. We've got leftovers as the item shell armor, as the ability. So we got curse. Uh, nice little healing move here. Body Press and Stone Edge for coverage. So you could run Rock Slide on that if you want. Uh, I've got Terra Type Fighting. So it does have a nice defensive stat, so you could use it this way. Or if you just want to use it like really, really defensively, you can bop everything into defense if you want. I like having Careful because that way you don't faint to, um, you know, those special moves uh, very, very e as easily, I guess you could say. Uh, the only risk about going Terra Type Fighting is you're still weak to uh, flying. But uh, that's another way you could possibly run... Uh, Torterra. Um, there's another way, too, to run it. Uh, if you want to ignore Shell Smash, which I don't know why you would, but if you want to ignore Shell Smash, you can always run a Choice Band set. So let's. I'm just going to make that right now. So this can run Choice Band. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, so firstly, we're going to go... I would do max, max Attack. I don't know about Speed, though. I'd be inclined to have this one as a Trick Room if you're going to run this. So you've got Brave Nature, uh, zero IVs. I'd run this in Trick Room. So you'd either pop on Choice Band or Assault Vest. That would be my um, recommendations there. So you've got stuff like, I'd go Headlong Rush. I'd go, man, I'd, I'd put in the Power Moose here. I'd put on Wood Hammer. You've even got Heavy Slam for Steel Types. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'd go Stone Edge. And Crunch is not too bad. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you could also have uh, Iron Iron Head too. Iron Head could be like kind of cool for like Terra. I know Terra Steel, that could be really interesting. I know you're still weak to fire, but any ice types that come in are going to get like absolutely destroyed. So something like that. That could be a choice band set or you could mix it up to like a salt vest. So that way you take special hits a little bit better. And yeah, um, maybe you even want to have Overgrow there because with Woodhammer, like... That could be interesting too. But anyway, that's another way to run it. But that's that's sort of an older style Torterra set uh, with Choice Band and stuff like that uh, before it got a uh, Shell Smash. So I don't think you'll be wanting to run that over Shell Smash. Next one we got is Wish Cloister. So <laughs> um, obviously uh, we've got some moves here that are hitting multiple times. I think we can take advantage of that with Shell Smash. So still the same premise as the first set, but we're mixing the moves up a little bit. So Loaded Dice is going to allow us to hit... As hard as a wood hammer at a wait, well, if we land all of them, that's going to be pretty good. No drawback there. So we've got um, four to five hits on that. So minimum 100. So it's more powerful than seed bomb and up to 120, uh, 125 base power too, which is actually more powerful than wood hammer, which is really nice. Uh, and we got rock blast too, a great move too. So same with that one. And that's going to be covering a lot of your weaknesses, which is good. And, of course, Headlong Rush just to top it off there too. Terra Rock and Shell Armor. Same EVs as the very first one. Um, you can run Jolly or Adamant, whatever you want. I think Adamant is enough. Unless unless you're really, really worried about Choice Scarf Pokemon, like super fast ones or something, like, or opposing Torterras or like other, you know, things like that. But yeah, I can see that being uh, pretty useful as well. Is it going to be as good as the Shell Smash set? Mm, it doesn't have White Herb. You have to give White Herb up for starters. Um, you might miss uh, with Rock Blast. Um, that, that's that's about it. Still, I, I think it's got some very, very good uh, presence about it for sure. Um, Multi-hitting moves are very nice too. 
Um, I, I, I really like this set. It's, uh, it's, it's, I can see it definitely. I, I might do a sweep of this set, actually. I might call it Wish Cloister and do a sweep of it. I'm going to try and do it tonight. I'm very, very certain I can get it. But there you go. That's a, uh, another set you can look at. Really, really cool against Shell Smash. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because it is, I guess you could say it is a, uh, like a turtle-like creature. So, well, it is a turtle. So it has a, a sh I guess it has a shell to smash, right? So let's have a look at some doubles here. And then I'm going to go over some, uh, you know, some good partners and counters and stuff like that. And then I've got a couple of memes as well. So Torterra in doubles. Uh, we can try and uh, have that uh, Terra Rock, I'm thinking now. So since Terra Rock is very good on it, in my opinion, you can have Rock Slide, which will be great for this. Now... You can either opt to run Shell Smash or not. It, I, I still think it's possible to go for it, but you're going to need a good partner to be able to get this off. Otherwise, you're going to get targeted heavily. So I'm going to suggest some partners in a second. So we've got Rock Slide, Shell Smash. we got Earthquake. Now, once again, it depends on your partner, um, what you have uh, there. Um, if you, You're probably going to need to use something like a Levitating Pokemon or Protect or something like that. You're going to need uh, something or Flying, something to get around that. So it makes Earthquake uh, hit, obviously, harder. Um, that's another way. Or if you're really worried about that, you can always do um, high horsepower. It does get that if you want singular target. So that's that's kind of up to you what you want on your team and stuff like that. Uh, and the other move, I've got a Seed Bomb as well. So, yeah, that's the whole Seed Bomb uh, versus Bullet Seed versus Wood Hammer. So... You know, uh, that's kind of up to what you want to do there too. Now, same EVs. I've given this one Jolly. Ad Jolly or Adamant will be fine. And I'd give that sh uh, Shell Armor there. So Shell Armor. And White Herb is the item. Now, let me give a couple of... Uh, let me give something that's... Hmm, some... Let's remove this there for a second. So I'm going to give a, a couple of examples here. This one sort of specific example, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to work very well, but this is kind of fun. So I was thinking you could send out an Ogapon Wellspring, right? And then you had the, uh, you had this. So if you want this to set up, I reckon you could do, because you know its weakness is right. Obviously it's going to be weak to ice and it's going to be weak to water. So I know it's not the greatest sort of map. At least we would be neutral. So I was thinking, even if it's not this Pokemon singly, you could have like a follow me Pokemon. So you could have follow me, and that would allow it at least to set up Shell Smash. And then you could, you know, you could make it sort of like a tanky set or something like that. I'm not specifically talking about this, but you could have a bulky follow me Pokemon and allow the Torterra to set up. And then you could have something like uh, Protect on it too. So you can, you know, protect why it's using its uh, multi-eating moves. And then you could have something like Helping Hand on it. So that would, uh, you know, help along on the uh, the damage on, especially if you're using Earthquake or something like that, or just, in, you know, damage in general there. So that's something you could do. Uh, Ogre Pond, some more like solid counters, uh, sorry, solid teammates would be Don Dozo. Um, bulky Water Pokemon are good partners for this Pokemon because, one, it's weak to ice and, you know, and it's weak to fire as well. So bulky Water Pokemon are really quite nice, and that sort of scares off a lot of closest counters. Another good one I was thinking, speaking of starters, would be Empoleon, you know? So I'm going to do an Empoleon guide today. I'm also going to do an Infernate one, so they're coming up today. So all three of them will be done today before anyone asks. So that's a good one too. So that's covering a lot of... The, like, that covers heaps. Like, that, like, resists... Um, so we got Steel and Water. So that's going to uh, heavily resist Ice, like, uh, four, four, times, uh, four times resist Ice. And then we've got flying, or resist that too, and your know, fire is neutral to it. So yeah, that's not bad. So that's not a bad partner either. Uh, Milotic will be another good partner too. Yeah, that's another like a bulky water Pokemon. But I was thinking, I don't know, I was just thinking like in, if you wanted to try this in doubles, you could have like a follow me Pokemon. There's not that many of them. That's the only thing. That's why I suggested the maybe the Wellspring one uh, could be an option there too. It's a pity it still retains its grass type. But um, you, you could tear it. Like if you tear this. That would be an interesting support Pokemon for sure. But there's quite a few that could be used there. Now, let's say if you didn't want to use Shell Smash, I'm going to give you some options as well. I'd still go Terra Rock. I, I, I quite like that, but I don't know. Like, I think it'd be cool to like make use of it. So what do we got here? It does get... It does get... It does get some cool moves. Like It does get Wide Guard as well. That could be interesting. You might be able to make like a tanky set, but... I don't know, like a defensive wall tanky set with wide guard, stopping any of those like multi-hitting moves, like I don't know, like hyper voice and stuff like that. That could be handy. It does get it does get sword dance too, but I don't know, like 
That's gonna be like super outclassed in my opinion. So you could you could just pop protect on there if you really wanted to. That would be a, another option if you want. But I don't know. I, I'd make use of if it was me. I'd try and make use of shell smash. If you have got any other uh, doubles move set ideas, you can uh, let me know there for sure. But some counters in general to Torterra, whether it be singles and doubles, I'd be worried about. Well, singles would. I, I'm thinking like Bax Calibre. That would be a very good like good counter like. Its weaknesses are like priority moves, right? So it doesn't have any priority moves outside of Grassy Glide. So you'd really need a Grassy Terrain Pokemon as like a partner if you wanted to go, go down that route. Uh, Weaver, that's another one too. Weaver, I'm thinking on the spot there. You know, Ice Shard, Fake Out, you know, annoying stuff like that. Uh, any powerful priority, like King Gambit might be as well. Um, I know you're gonna. it's going to be weak to ground, but... It's Sucker Punch is going to be pretty strong too, and that can get around the Shell Smash variants quite good. That's probably more for singles, though. The other ones are more for doubles. But yeah, there's a couple of counters there, a couple of teammates and stuff like that. Uh, let's have a look at... Oh, this is a set that I've had for years. It's it's a gimmick set. It's a Pip Knight special. So it's my Seed Tomb Pip Knight special set. So this one um, can be run a couple of ways. So we've got it as a pure defensive wall. Max Health, Max Defense, Impus Nature. We've got Shell Armor, of course. And we've got Leech Seed and Sand Tomb, which is a, quite a, uh, a nasty little combination. So, you've obviously, you're going to be trapping the opponent in there with Sand Tomb. So, they're going to be trapping four to five turns. However, with the Grip Claw, that's going to always last seven turns. So, you can set that up first and then set Leech Seed. So, you've got that damage going. Also, Leech Seed is healing you. And you've got Amnesia to increase your special defense. And, of course, you've got a healing move here as well. You can also do... Um, you can also do this instead of Amnesia. If you want, like, a defensive wall, you can go Protect as well. So you could get, like, extra Leech Seed, extra Sand Tomb damage. And then on the next turn, you could heal. So it's pretty much a stally set, which would work pretty well. I know, it's obviously, it's got its counters and stuff like that. I'm not saying it doesn't, but that could really, really annoy someone for sure. And, you know, Amnesia, like, putting Amnesia on there kind of, like, makes it super bulky on the special defensive side. So, you know, one of those uh, one of those bad boys is going to be super uh, tanky there. And just annoying. It's just going to be annoying to fame. As for Terra, hmm, maybe you could give it, like, Terra... I don't know, like Terra Normal. So it's only got like one weakness. I was just trying to think of something that would like with very, very little weaknesses that could be useful. Or you might, might want to boost one of its moves like Terra, you know, Terra Electric or something like that. Or Terra Normal. I don't know, like something along those lines. I, I, I haven't used this. Uh, this is like from the, goodness, back in the day when it got these moves. Like really, really old. I think this was in Gen 4. I think I made this setup. But yes, another way to run it. A little bit of, it's obviously it's more of, definitely a, a sing, more of a singles uh Single set and a bit of fun. Now, I was also thinking, speaking of some memes, how about we uh how about we have a look at special uh, Torterra? Now, with Shell Smash, this actually can be some somewhat viable. Like it, it is a bit of a surprise. So we got Shell Smash, of course. We got Earth Power for stab, which is good. Uh, energy ball at 90, which is good too. And we got also I thought you could run this hyper voice throat spray set with Terra Normal. So you could uh you could go Shell Smash, right? And then I'd probably blunt, like, you'd probably put it on a poke, send it against a Pokemon that you know you can faint with Hyper Voice, right? Shake your Shell Smash up, and then blast them away with a Terra Titan normal. So then you have plus three in special attack and plus two in speed. And you'll be outspeeding everything, and you'll be hitting pretty hard. Another one you could do is Giga Drain on there, because that would actually get your health back and be kind of nice. And even after a Shell Smash, Torterra's defense will still be okay and, re like, re like, respectable to, like, priority moves, unless it's not eye sharp. But then again, if you're Terra Normal, will be fine. So you don't have to worry about, like, I don't know, Mac Punch and Vacuum Wave and, you know, stuff like that. But another way to run a Torterra, a Pimp Knight special for sure. Uh, let's have a look at Torterra's other moves and we'll discuss a couple of other things. If you've got any other move sets or stuff you want to suggest in the comments, I always like to hear other people's, uh, other people's takes or any other move sets you've got going there or, you know, things like that. So let's have a look at the status here. So we've gone over Curse. Iron Defense, you could do a Body Press. That's another way of doing it. Sort of gone over Elite Sheet. You could do a real bulky defensive Elite Sheet stalling set. Uh, light Screen, not really. Uh, protect, Reflect. Uh, has Raw. You might be able to do like a Stealth Rock and Raw set. That could work as well. I've seen lots of those like Max Health, Max Defense, Raw, Stealth Rock. Uh, you know, other, you know, sort of variants like that. I think there's other Pokemon better suited to it. Uh, Sword Dance, I don't really see you using it all because it's got Shell Smash. There's no point using that at all. Uh, healing move, of course. Um, grassy Terrain. Gross. 
That might be good on a Sun team, but you got Shell... I feel like Growth and Sword Dance are useless, really. It does have Stockpile. You might be able to do a really stally set with it. And you've got Wide Guard as well, which is kind of interesting for uh, for doubles. So, you, as I said on this one, you might be... If you didn't want to have Protect or Shell Smash, you might be able to whack on Wide Guard on there, but... Eh, I don't know. I feel like that's more suited for, uh, like, a su support-style Pokemon. This one's sort of, like, going for Fallout damage, so, you know, with Shell Smash. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? So, that's pretty much all its status -y moves there. It does have Worry C, too. You might be able to do some interesting Worry C combinations, getting rid of bad abilities, like, uh, Slaking or something like that. Um, that's some options there. Let's have a look at its, uh, physical moves. Now, get some good physical moves. So, we've got over Body Press. Uh, Crunch is okay for coverage, I guess. Earthquake. So, it's like, whether you want to run Earthquake in doubles or not, it sort of depends on your partner. Um, you got Headlong Rush, or you've got um, High Horsepower as well. So, that's sort of... The reason I said High Horsepower is you didn't have, like, that drop in defense. So, like, can you imagine if... Imagine if you weren't running White Herb, and then you had, like, the Shell Smash drop, and then you went for Headlong Rush. So... Yeah, you probably you probably fight to a water gun, right? So, it's sort of up to what you want to do there. Unless you got a, a Pokemon that can sort of take the heat off it, like follow me or something like that, um, or you know, Wide Guard or you know, anything like that. So, high horsepower. Yeah, Iron Head isn't bad either. To, or a Terra Terra Steel. I'd probably go Iron Head because you, you should be faster and you can flinch. Uh, Outray. We're going over Rock Blast. We're going over Rock Slidery. C Bomb. We're going over. Uh, Smackdown, you know, not really. Uh, Stone Edge, we've gone over that as well. So, sort of that accuracy thing. Superpower is interesting, but I don't think you'd really need it. I think it's a waste having Superpower. Trailblaze is interesting, but I don't think it's needed on a physical set. Um, you're going to be fast enough, so it's waste. And Woodhammer, it's, it's a great move, but it has a lot of recoil. So, I don't think you're going to survive very long on Shell Smash unless you use it sparingly and stuff like that. Zen Headbutt is interesting, but I don't think it was like too much. And then we got a couple, a couple of moves. That that Bullet Seed and rock, rock Blast set, I really like that. That was really cool. And yeah, that that's that's kind of a that's kind of about it for its physical moves or like viability and stuff. Let's have a look at its uh, was it its special moves here? It's <laughs> it's pretty much all grass moves, you know. So there's there's not too much going on here. We went over the special set anyway. Um, you might be able to do some sort of like I don't know stockpile spit up meme set. It does. It's interesting that it does have spit up. Or you could have, like, a Sunny Day Solar Beam set. That could uh, also be funny. I think I did, like... I think I've run a Frenzy Plant Choice Spec set before. That was pretty cool. Like, Earth Power, Frenzy Plant. You could go, like, Terra Blast... Wa a Terra Blast Water? That, actually, that's not a bad Terra, you know. It's actually not all that bad. The only thing I don't like about that is if, say, like... Oh, I'm trying to think of something. Well, Terra, Terra Blast Water could be another one, too. Yeah, that's all right. So you get around, like, Fire and... Gives you a powerful water move. I think... I think you might have, like, trouble. I'm trying to think what you'd have trouble against there. So, maybe something like Gyarados. I don't know. I don't know, Gyarados. Still, I guess you'd still be out of Seed Bomb. But, yeah. that's an, I guess Water's another one you could go for as well. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for the Torterra Guide. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this uh, insightful. If you did, drop a like. If you got any other thing to add to the video, please put it below. I always like to hear people's thoughts and opinions and... You know, uh, whether this helped and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, massive that it got Shell Smash. I can see it getting a lot more use because of that too. Whether or not it's going to be out, it'll be super, super highly used. There are a lot of, uh, as I said, there are a lot of priority moves out there. And, you know, those those ice shards are going to be hurting. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, that's about it. I'll be back with Impolar and Infernape a little bit later on. And peace out.